Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you thrifting with me to the Goodwill outlet bins and at the end of the video, we'll head back here and I'll show you what I brought home in my thrift haul. Here we go. I love to thrift at the Goodwill bins. It's always an adventure. You pay by the pound so everything is really cheap and you just never know what you're going to find. I thrift mostly for myself and for my collections, but I do also pick things up for my little booth at a vintage shop called The Pink Elephant. And I was really thinking about bringing this turtle home for the booth, probably should have. I think I forgot <laughs> because I got sidetracked by something you'll see in a minute. My partner at The Pink Elephant, Clay Ramage, happened to be at the bins on this day, so that was fun. And this was the distraction from the turtle. I spotted these handmade, quilted hot pads. They're supposed to be separate bins for clothing, shoes, books, electronics, but you can see here it's chaos. <laughs> Everything is mixed together. Look at this clown. Look who I found. Yes, and he wears gloves. I do, I do not. And this everyone yells at me to each his own. I always like to find boxes of items because that usually means the items are not broken. People at the Chaska Goodwill Outlet bins really do a nice job of not throwing stuff and breaking things. I've heard nightmarish stories about other bins locations, especially ones out of state. But here in Minnesota, people just kind of gently look through. I mean, not that nothing breaks, but for the most part, people take pretty good care of the stuff that's here. I thought this was interesting. These were unpainted Christmas village houses. I thought this was a little bit funny. It looked like a piece that was supposed to be like all stitched, but the person had just done a little bit of stitching. I don't know. Maybe it was meant to be this way, but to me, it seemed like maybe they took the easy way out. <laughs> just did a few stitches here and there. Thank you. 
these cups definitely had potential, but they were kind of really used. But other, if they had been in better shape, I would have picked them up for the shop. And that little cross stitch piece, I actually had in my cart for a while, and then I wound up putting it back. I didn't see it when I was there because I was distracted by that light, but there is a vintage life game in the background there that would have been fun to look at. I got this guy following closely on my tail. And you can see here, this is one of the book bins. I just stopped on my way to another row. These bins are in the back back of the store. This was a bummer. These uh, mugs are pretty collectible. I actually have like two or three of them. I believe they're made by a German company, but this one had a huge chip on it. So I left it behind. On occasion, I will pick up a plush from the bins. They sell pretty well for me. This was a puppet of lamb chop, but it had some nasty spots on it. So I like the ones that I bring home to be in really good shape. And here's another miss, those wooden birds. Those are kind of cool. I wonder if Clay picked them up because he would have gone to this bin after me. We'll have to look for his next uh, bins haul. <laughs> I thought this clock was kind of neat. It reminded me of the shape of some of the vintage plates that I like to pick up. 
it was kind of the wrong color though I guess I could have painted it but you know didn't really feel like it but I did think it was kind of neat to see basically what's supposed to look like one of those plates made into a clock Okay, you all, I hope it was fun going to the Goodwill bins this week. It was a good week. I have a big haul. I did spend $30, and but actually a lot of it is um, for Christmas. Not all of it, but a lot of it. So that was really fun. Not a ton of vintage Christmas, but a lot of good Christmas stuff because you know I love Christmas. And I do apologize that this is going up. I know I've been trying to do like one bins haul, like one bins video and then a regular thrifting video. But coming up on Tuesday, October 19th, 2021, I am doing, I'm thrift, I am, wow, I am hosting the thrift shop hop where we, um, there's like 10 or 12 of us and we all bring you to a different thrift store and show you our thrift hauls. It's super fun. So that's going to be on Tuesday. That's Tuesday's video. So I decided, well, since I'm not doing a bins video on Tuesday or Monday, then I'll just do the bins video on Friday. It'll be great. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what I got. I got a few larger things. Let's do those first so I can get them out of my way. So the first thing I got was this amazing wool fall colored blanket. And uh, the woman weighed it for me. It's four pounds. And so at the current rates, Clay had said, and I didn't notice, but I did check this time, the weighed items went up to $2.19 a pound. It used to be $1.69 a pound. Now it's $2.19 a pound. What? That's a lot. So I was like, I'm not paying $8 for it just because it's the bins. And on principle, I just don't want to. Plus, it does need to be cleaned. And she's like, I'll give it to you for two. And I was like, okay, I'll take it. So I got this lovely blanket for two bucks. It's going to cost me probably like 20 25 to get it dry cleaned. But that's fine because I'm going to use this in my home. It's not for resale. So I have a place for this. It's going to go on the back of, there's a gray chair in my living room, which is the room that's right off our kitchen, not the family room where we sit a lot, but the living room, there's a gray chair in there. I'm going to hang it on the back of that because it's kind of scratchy. I'm not sure how much I'll actually like cuddle up with it given the other options. We have like lots of nice, soft, cozy throws, but it looks really nice. And so I think it's going to look nice on the back of that chair. So that's my four pound blanket. Um, okay, and then I did buy two vintage tree skirts. I love this one. This one I think is going to be for me. Somewhere in the house, there's a tree that needs a skirt that looks like this, I'm sure. It's so cute. It's totally 80s and I absolutely love it. I was toying with the idea of tea staining it. You know how you can dip it in tea. I, I haven't decided yet. 
I might do that to give it a little more of an antique look or I might just leave it alone and let it be totally 1980s. Okay, and the other one I bought is this one. It's reversible, so it's green on this side and red on this side with little knots. This one is going to go to the shop. So I thought it was super cute, but I don't need two new tree skirts. I have a lot of lovely tree skirts. I really like that quilted one. So that one will stay with me and one will go. Okay, some of the other big things. Ugh, I don't think this made it into the footage, but it's an old peanut butter jar and I just love old jars. I thought it was cute. Not sure what I'll put in it yet. Somewhere in here, something needs a jar. So it'll stay in here, I'm sure. Okay, moving on. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't feel like getting up to reach it, but I did get one of the rolls, if you saw in the footage, of the Black Panther wrapping paper. I got that because my hubby loves Marvel and I thought I could use it for some of his Christmas presents. So that was a good find. Let's move on. I'm just pulling stuff out of my bags here. It's very disorganized, but you know, it's the bins and that's what happens when you go to the bins. Everything is chaos. Okay. I am slightly more organized. I'm just gonna go through here. Okay, so I found several pot holders and they all look to be new to me. They are not stained at all. I'm gonna keep this set of two of poinsettias and then these I'm gonna put in the shop. There's like, this one's like a windmill pattern, quilt square, same, and then another poinsettia one. I just think they're really nice. And you know, I don't know about you, but I'm really bad with my pot holders. Like they get dirty and stained and then I throw them out. So I almost see them as long-term disposables. So I'm happy to have two new ones for my Christmas kitchen. I got two books. These are both going to the shop. If you hear me saying the shop, I mentioned in the footage, I do have a vintage uh, booth at a shop called The Pink Elephant in Hopkins, Minnesota. And I sell some stuff very, very, very part-time. <laughs> it's just a hobby. It's very fun. The people there are very fun. So anyway, um, and my friend Clay, you saw him in the video. I probably mentioned this already, but he is my partner at the shop. We split a booth. So, but I got two books. One is called Blondie, a giant size feast of brand new strips to celebrate 50 years. So that was that one. I'm not sure what the strip is. I'll see if I can get that off. I'm going to sell it really cheap. I mean, it's not in great shape, but I thought it was cool. Someone who's a a fan of Blondie might like to have that. And then this, I'm trying to pick up stuff that might be good for people to get as like inexpensive presents for people. And I'm going to have a shelf that's like inexpensive presents for the ones you love. So, you know, put lots of things for like five bucks. Um, all I need to know, I learned from my cat. So I might put this up for like three bucks. I don't know. I got to look it up on eBay. I'm sure it's not worth very much, but it is really funny. And it's a very gifty book. I think that's a great item someone might like to give someone for Christmas or Hanukkah. Okay, and then I got this, I think is Bushnell a camera brand. I was guessing this is an old camera case. It has a lens cloth in it, or could it have been binoculars, but it looks more like the shape of a camera. So that's what I think this probably is. This is gonna go to the shop as well. And then I got this for myself. Ooh, I love this. I love it. Just an old cutting board. I'm not sure if I'll DIY it or if I'll just set it in the kitchen like this. I've seen where people just display like old cutting boards. This one lady I saw on Instagram, she has a whole wall of like pig shaped cutting boards. What? I've never seen a pig shaped cutting board. I think that's so cool. But anyway, so this will go in my kitchen somewhere. For now, I'll probably just put it in like that. I'm not gonna use it. I just like the way it looks. Here's where I put the cutting board. I really love how it looks here. I would love to have another one slightly bigger to kind of layer the two of them, but I don't have one right now. So for now, I'm pleased with how this looks here. All right, now on to, oh, well, wait, here's another. There's some more non-Christmas. I got this for myself. It's probably just from Target. Yeah, originally $7.99 at Target. And it's just good for tiered trays and other decor. And then this is gonna go to the shop. It's this cool little wooden box. It almost looks hand done. Very clean and felt bottomed and it's got this cool like stripe. So don't know what it's for, but I thought it was cool. Okay, oh, these are good items. Okay, 
this is going to the shop. It's like some kind of organizer. I don't know what someone would have kept in it. Oh, there's something in it. Hopefully it's nothing creepy. What is it? Okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh, dear. Well, it's these clips, which are for hair, <laughs> but have uh, historically had other uses. <laughs> so there you go. A bunch of clips. But I got this because I thought, oh, it's a cool kind of, I guess maybe it's a travel organizer. Maybe some lady would take this with her on her trips when she would set her hair or something. I have no idea, but that's what I got it for. I'm, I mean, I'm going to put it in the shop as like a travel pouch or an organizer of some sort. Okay, and I did pick up the doily. I have a hard time leaving behind a doily. This is a really pretty one, but I just really like doilies. And uh, sometimes I craft with them, sometimes I just have a collection of them and I'm okay with that. And here's where I put my new doily. I love the edge on this doily, so I really wanted to show that off. And I think hanging off the basket, it does a good job doing that. And so I have my little jack-o'-lantern on it and you know, at Christmas time I can switch it up for something else. But for right now, I think it looks great. This is for myself. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. It's the tiniest little lamp I've ever seen. Oh my goodness, it even has its wick still. It's so cute. I mean, would you have actually used this? Maybe. Made in Hong Kong, red glass. Someone sold it for $3. I'm going to keep it in my collection. I'm probably going to put it out with my Christmas stuff. I don't know if I'll necessarily put it out right now. But we'll see. Okay, and then this I got, it's not technically a creamer. It's a measuring cup, which I've seen these before in other thrift stores, and it comes like a whole set. This one's the eighth of a cup, but the eighth of a cup looks a lot like a personal creamer, and so I'm going to put it in my little personal creamer collection because I liked it because, look, it's got that, and then it's got this eagle on the other side, which I thought was really cool, and the stars. It's kind of Americana without being red, white, and blue, which is kind of a nice twist, and we love eagles. Um, there's tons of eagles in Minnesota, and my hubby especially loves bald eagles, so... Thought that would be cool. Here is my little creamer, not creamer. I think it looks great in here. My little collection of creamers. That is above my little jadeite cubbies. And then I think this is a soap dish or maybe it's meant to be an ashtray. I'm not really sure, but it's definitely vintage. So it's pink, it's a shell. And see it's like painted or something so i thought that was cool so that's gonna go to the shop and okay and now let's see oh a few more things that aren't christmas i did get this basket this is the basket i was saying which was kind of rocky i thought it was cool though look at that diamond pattern on it's just really a different looking basket and it's pretty from the side which is unusual you know a lot of times baskets aren't pretty from the side so really like that one i'm a sucker for a pretty basket Got another basket also for myself, but it's full of stuff. So let me show you this stuff first. I'm going to, I'm going to go with non-Christmas first. Got this to stick at the shop. Don't know anything about it. Sure. It's not worth a lot, but I sell a lot of these random little toys. So probably put it for a buck and that'll be that. I found one of these glasses. This is vintage. Probably had a glass pitcher that it went with and a set of like four. This is Anchor Hawking 1987. So cute. And then I did pick up the teeny tiny Raggedy Ann. I don't have any tiny ones. She's missing her dress, but she's not totally naked, right? She's got her stockings and her little undershirt. So maybe I can find a dress for her sometime, but I thought she was really cute and so tiny. She's just gonna, I have my Raggedy Ann things kind of put away right now. I haven't taken them out since Maddie moved out, but she's on my shelf with my little German Oh, by the way, did I ever update you? That, oh, I'm breaking things. This is not an air freshener cover. Apparently, this is a German bobblehead doll. I just don't have the bobbler. Is that what that's called? I don't even know, but basically, basically, okay, not, not a giraffe. There we go. Oh, this is not working. Hold on a second. Let me get a thinner one. A thinner bobbler maybe might work better. So the general idea, though, is that her head... Oh yeah, that'll work. Her head goes on thingy and bobbles. 
See that? Well, I'm doing a really bad job of showing this, but that's the idea. I thought it was an air freshener cover a few weeks ago when I showed it to you. It is not. It's a German bobble doll. And the idea would be that her head would bobble, but um, I don't have the right bobbler. And, um, but that's what it's supposed to do. And now she's sitting next to my little Raggedy Ann doll up here on my shelf. There you go. Okay. Because this is my room now and I just put what I like in here. <laughs> oh my goodies. Okay, I did get this basket as well. It needs to be wiped out, it's quite dusty. But I really thought it was nice because of the handles. Again, I like baskets that look different. You can never have too many baskets. You know, this one, I, I'm gonna wipe it out, but then you could put a napkin in it and use it for rolls. You could use it for candies. You could use it for organizing. You know, there's tons of uses for baskets. You could hang it as decor. Look, I could just hang it here. It actually looks pretty cute. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do that for now. I like it. That's cute. Oh, that's better. Trying to get it so it's not crooked. Okay, <clears throat> that's adorable. Let's keep going. Now, I think I have covered, oops, one more thing that's not Christmas. I got this light, which I think is gonna be adorable in my, so, okay. I do not have an Instagram worthy laundry room. My laundry room looks like a regular person's laundry room. It has the mechanicals in there. So our furnace and every, it's, it's not a pretty room. The drain is in the floor, you know, typical, before there was Instagram, laundry room. But I have been thinking, we're getting a new washer and I have been thinking I can make it a little nicer than it, it's pretty bad. So I was like, this would be adorable down in the laundry room. It was only a dollar because it's 99 cents for electric things. And it looks like an old wash tub. So I thought, oh, if it works, this will be really cute in the laundry room. Just a little nod to old wash basins. So that's what that is for. All right, now we're really moving on to Christmas. Okay, so I got a bunch of ornaments and mostly not for me, although, okay, I will show you. Oh, he's missing a foot, bummer. But I thought he was really cute. I don't know what he's doing exactly. Like, why does he, why is he holding those? Oh, did he have a drum? I don't really know, but I think he's really cute. I'm not sure why he's holding these drum, what looks like drumsticks, but they have like pearl heads on them. I don't know. It's very strange, but I thought he was cute. He's going to go into my personal collection. Oh, I bet he had a drum because look, he's got this little, little knob. <laughs> he's got a knob here. <laughs> I'm going to have to put a, a drum back on Santa so he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't have a knob. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Inappropriate. All right, here we go. And then I got some more ornaments. I got this one. I'm sorry. I'm still laughing. Ah, okay. Oh, get it together, Nicole. That was really funny. Anyway, take a sip of coffee oh, and gather myself. Okay. I got this cat in a wagon, which is going to go to the shop. I also got this marshmallow man in a mug, which is also going to the shop. I'm going to put these in there for like two bucks. I don't sell a lot of holiday stuff and I don't want to sell vintage holiday stuff because I collect vintage holiday stuff. So I'm just going to put some fun things in there. Maybe they'll sell, maybe they won't, but at least, you know, I have some stuff. And this one is really cute. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep him or not. He's adorable. Um, the Santa with all the birds on him. I think this would be really cute if I had one of those, you know, those ornament hangers, because he's really heavy. I don't think I would put him on a tree, but you know, one of those like ornament hangers, it's like a piece of metal. He would be a really cute displayed like that. So I'm, that's what I might do with him. I really like him. The more I look at him and the fact that he has all those birdies on him, it's just adorable. So, okay. So that one's probably gonna stay with me. This I got, I was surprised Clay did not pick this up. Clay Ramage, if you are listening, you should have picked this up because Clay wears shirts like this all the time. This totally, this ornament is like the embodiment of Clay. <laughs> so I thought that was really funny. That'll go to the shop unless Clay wants it and then he's welcome to have it. And then this, what the heck? This was originally for $5.99. What? I don't know who was selling this for $5.99, but I thought this was really cute. This is going to go on to like a wreath or some kind of craft thing. 
in my craft room for the holidays. I thought that was really adorable. Okay, we'll just hang it here for now. And I also got a mitten, a metal mitten. Um, this will also be for crafting. Okay. Oh, and then for the shop, I got this one. Well, do I really need... My goodness, guys, I'm, I'm a, little, a little wacky today. It's the morning. I have to work in a little bit here, but... Okay, I got this because there's actually some Nutcracker collectors that come into the shop and buy a lot of Nutcracker things. So I thought this might be good for one of them. I don't know. It's a Nesco, vintage Nesco. And this is what he looks like. He's not broken or anything. What is he doing? It's like a mouse doctor. I really have no idea. But it's a mouse doctor examining the Nutcracker. I don't know why. But that's what it appears to be. So yeah, so he'll go to the shop for maybe some of those Nutcracker collectors that come in. And this, and then I have another set of things. All right, so this is cool. You might have seen in the video, I found this first. Oh, that is not what I meant to say. I found what's in the bag first, and then I found the little bag. So it says, Wallace, limited edition. Wallace limited edition annual sleigh bell 27th year 1997. So this so I found this in the bins first and then I found the little satchel or whatever it is the little sachet that it goes into um and so I'm gonna sell this at the shop because I really don't have an interest in collecting sleigh bells but someone might so that was cute and then let me grab a bag and I'll show you what else, the last thing. All right, so I got, you might have seen me going through them. I picked up three, because three is always a nice number um, when you're decorating. I'm gonna decorate in threes. I'm not going to paint these. I might put some white glitter on them. I think that would look really pretty. I mean, I guess they were originally intended to be painted, but I don't think they need to be painted to be pretty. So I'm thinking on a shelf at Christmas time with some white glittery snow on them, like white glitter as snow on them on like some kind of, you know, snow drop with lights in them. And I think this will be, cause you know, I have a nice Christmas village. I love it. My Dickens department 56 Christmas village, but I'm thinking downstairs, bottom of my steps. This is where, that's where these are going to go. Um, and then it'll provide a little light for the doggies at the bottom of the steps because that's always helpful for them. So I picked three. I got what I think is, oh, I'm showing you the back. That's the front, sorry. And I think that this is meant to be a church. I mean, there's nothing specifically churchy about it, but it kind of looks like the shape of a church. Sorry, my dogs are barking. I don't know why they're barking. And then I also got the barn, which I thought was really cute. Oh, it says blacksmith but it looks like a barn. So that was cute. Woo, bone break stuff. And then I also got one other, which I think is just a little house and I just thought it was pretty. So this one will go in the middle with that and then the blacksmith on the other side. Yeah. So um, I think that'll be nice for Christmas time. And then along with it, this is not on the right scale, but I thought this might be pretty somewhere. Again, it's just blank ceramic, but um, it's a little dad, I guess, and a, and a little baby. I think that's a baby. Is that meant to be a doll? No, I think that's meant to be a child. Well, you can't really see it. There we go. So I got that. Oh, and then also to go with the village, I did pick up one of the trees. I should have gotten another tree. I don't know what I was thinking, but oh. I almost forgot to share these, but I did pick up some mugs. So this one I thought I'd keep because Chris really likes Jurassic Park. So I thought he might like that. And then this one I'm going to wash, even though we like Star Wars, don't need a Star Wars mug unless Chris wants it. But I was thinking I'd bring that to the shop and I'm going to bring this one to the shop. It's just a horse mug. People come in, they're like, do you have anything raccoons? Do you have anything horses? So I thought I'd put that out. And this one I think I'm going to keep for myself for my Christmas beverage bar. I can put, can because it's so tall, you know, it's not one that I like to drink out of, but I love the station wagon and I can put candy canes in it for when we make hot cocoa. If we want to put a candy cane in it, that's always fun to have on your beverage bar. So that was my thought for that one. And these were each 49 cents a piece. Anyway, 
All right, so that is my bins haul for this week, my $30 bins haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, check out the Thrift Shop Hop on Tuesday the 19th. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Please hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up, and the bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. We're gonna reenact what just happened. What'd you just say? Oh, I said, whoa, cool mugs, Jurassic Park. <laughs> love Jurassic Park. I told I them don't that. I don't even know why, but I love it. The dinosaur so, is messed up ooh. on the back. It looks but, glow in the dark, too. It is, but, it's uh, a glow in the dark dinosaur. Nice. Did you know I, that? No, I did not. It I is. knew he'd love that mug. <laughs> you know, you're married to someone this long. Gotta you know. get to oh it's almost our anniversary that's cool too star wars yeah i said if chris wants to keep this one he can <sighs> he's gonna think about it <laughs> anyway we're hitting 24 years yeah. on monday whoa Makes us feel and weird, i after all these years i at least know what kind of mugs you like it's true <laughs>